consciousness, the gods and goddess, and the collective goddess into the known unknowns. And with that, let's begin. Hello, it's Divine Honesty, and I'm back with another reading. Today, we're going to be reading for Sagittarius, okay? I'm a Sagittarius, so uh, this better go well. <laughs> but no, energy, collective, give me what's real, okay? We want to know what's real. It doesn't matter how painful it is, because the only way you can get over something, the only way you can gain from a situation is to know what's real, Okay, so today, Sagittarius, we're going to be focusing the energy on our ex. Okay, now with me, I'm in a predicament with my ex right now, and I don't know where to go or how to go about a certain situation. Okay, and so this is going to be, you know, exciting for me. Hopefully, everyone else can relate, or most of my Saggies can relate. If not, you can wait till next week or in a couple of days to view another perspective. Not all readings is going to resonate with everyone. And if you want a read, um, general reading or if you want a private reading, then you can look below in the description for my contact information. Okay. And I'm, I'm the type, and I know some people may think this is counterproductive, but... I will work some out with you. I'm really just, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm mostly doing it for the chance to allow someone to experience what I've experienced. And that's a sense of relief, a sense of therapy, a sense of clarity. And I don't really think there's a monetary gain on that at this moment. Um, so with that being, especially with COVID and everything that's going on in the world right now, so whatever you can, I'm mostly doing donations for readings instead of um, a set price, okay? But if this doesn't resonate with you off the bat, wait, it might start resonating there in the middle. Um, also, or the end, also I will have two other videos at the end of my video for you to either get another perspective or get a different um, explanation of your ex's energy at this time and exes can change your their energy can change this doesn't this is not set in stone so just be aware and like I said my main intentions going into my reading is clarity peace and understanding I think with those three words you're able to gain from an experience and that's the overall goal of my readings okay so with that being said, let's get started. Um, the energy surrounding Sagittarius X. What is the energy surrounding Sagittarius X? Wow. So we have happiness. We have the Ten of Cups. That is full achievement. That is full happiness. That is reaching your satisfaction. That is family, love, a lifetime, a partnership, a soulmate. This card is one of the most beautiful cards in the tarot deck. And I got to tell you, Sagittarius, about damn time, okay? So whatever X it can be pertaining to, whatever X is in your vibratorial space at this time, this is their current energy, okay? And this is their current energy when it comes to you. So even if they're not, you know, living in <laughs> heaven right now, they could be going through hell. But this is how they see your ass, Sagittarius, and about time, time, okay? About time, which I kind of feel that way. And like I said, I'm going through something with my ex. I, he claims this is the type of energy he has towards me, okay? Let's see. Like I said, people can change. The energy surrounding Sagittarius X is the sun. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo. Oh my God, these cards, these first two cards just have my heart just beating because it's like, wow, I mean, I don't know if to trust this person or not. And I mean, and some of you definitely are in the same situation as I. Do you trust this X? 
And not only that, this is how they see you. Some of you have children with this ex, can be a female or a male. Some of you can have children with them or are pregnant by them or they're pregnant by you. Um, and they're your ex, hopefully not. Hell. I mean, this is a beautiful card. The sun card, the motherfucking sun right beside the ten of cups. I'm on the verge of asking what the fuck we want from this. <laughs> Some of y'all will know what I meant. Some of y'all won't. But what more can we ask for? What more can we ask for? Let's get the third and final card of our exes. Y'all, the lovers. I mean, if <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy. We got the fucking lovers. Okay, we have the three, like. I mean, what do we want? I mean, this is what we want, but it's like, is love enough? If is love enough and that's the issue because the love is here these motherfuckers love us they love us okay but is it enough i i know speaking for my point of view hold on one second i know speaking for my point of view love is not enough because if you push my button so far if you disappoint me so many times or too many damn times and sometimes one time is too many i'm not able to cut you off and you can be totally in love with me so the answer to that is no love is not enough because some people don't know how to love or some people don't know how to love you you your love is unique your love is not for everyone everyone is not going to be able to love you like you love you or love you like you need them to even though they love your ass but they love your ass if you questioning and this is not for every ex okay there's that one particular ex that you know love your ass okay and this is who we're going to be talking about today let's get a clarity let me clarify this ten of cups for us let me clarify the ten of cups okay this one to come out so we have the queen of pentacles so some of you could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn not all of us but this person feels that we're stable they feel or they feel stable around us sagittarius our ex feel very stable they feel like we are and um, we represent the Queen of Pentacles to them. Someone who is very solid, um, someone who is hardworking, and someone who wants a family, someone who loves family, and they can see that with the Queen of Pentacles representing the Ten of Cups, okay? So our exes see, see our ass, and that's how they view us. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? Okay, so this card jumped out all raggedy and shit. But it jumped out, and we have, I don't do reverses, we have the chariot. So some of y'all could be dealing with a cancer. Whoo! Sagittarius and cancer. I know you hate Sagittarius. If, the, if your ex is a cancer, they hate your ass. But they love your ass, but they hate your ass. Because we can have no filter, and cancers can be very emotional, okay? Um, but this, they want to move on with you. They want to have a life. Well, the chariot represents movement. It represents um, progression. It represents the next chapter, the next stage in life, going forward. And they see that with you, especially if you have a family with them. Maybe some of y'all are blended families or you have children with them. They want to move on. They want to have to grow up. You guys to grow up with your kids in the same household. They want to raise their children with you, okay? Now let's represent the lover's card. Why is the lover's here? And we have the star. The star has been popping up in everybody video. I guess it's a lot of hope and positive energy coming from our energy source. And when I say our energy source, everybody that's tuning in right now, we're all a part of the same energy source. You know why? Because we're connected some way. Even if it's in technology, we're, we're connected. You see me, I see you. Well, I know you're there. <laughs> and what the star represents, when it comes to the lovers, they hope you guys, this is what this card 
clarified, okay? This card clarified the lovers. And they want to be in a relationship with your ass. And they hope things will change. Things will move forward. And they will be with your ass, okay? So this person wants to be with you, but is love enough, okay? Let's get the overall advice. Now, this is going to tell us. This is going to straight up tell us, Sag, is this person worth it? What's the overall advice for our ex? What is the overall advice? Oh, my goodness. Move on. Now, this can be... This can be translated in so many different ways because for some of you, you need to move the fuck on from this ex and you know in your heart. And for some of you, move on with them. Kids and all, move on with them to a new chapter. Get over certain situations. Get over betrayal. If you know this person loves you and you love them, and you know that you love them as far as you don't want to be with nobody else but them, then move on. Take the initiative to get over the situation. I don't even know if I'm going to listen to my own damn self. Let's verify this um, Six of Cups. Or Six of Swords. I'm sorry, Six of Swords. And we have the Page of Swords. Mm, so some of us are stalking, okay? Or if we're not stalking, we're looking at Facebook, we're looking at their social media, asking people about us. We need to stop doing that. It's saying stop doing that. Let the situation go. Let it die. You're putting too much of your energy towards that. Okay? And even if it's not them specifically, your ex specifically, anything that's attached to them, let that shit go. Okay? Let it go. That's what the advice is. Let's get an Oracle card for you, Sag. Akasha. Akasha. Your guidance is divinely guided. Wow. Wow. Your guidance is divinely guided. So wherever you're headed in life, just know, Sagittarius, that it's from divine. It's from the divine. It's from the collective. It's from the spirit realm. You're being guided, okay? You're being guided to get over the situation somehow. Now, it's up to you. I never give my viewers where I try not to. Sometimes it's plain in sight. But right now, with this stating you're being divinely guided, everybody's situation is different. You have to determine where you're, you're going. And you know whatever deep in your heart, whatever's deep in your soul and your being, even though you know it might not feel good at the time or you don't want to let your guard down, you're being guided divinely and go on that path. Relax, take a deep breath and allow you to flow into the correct path in life, into your fulfilled path in life. Now, this has been another Divine Honesty. If this reading resonates, great. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.